Hey what is going on guys, it's Tharshan, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with another update video on our Season 16 Rebuilding Glory campaign in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna go and have a look at the season map first obviously, but it's changed quite a bit since you guys have last seen and not for the better unfortunately. So yeah, let's get into it. So if I click season map, you can see I am in the middle of nowhere. And now when I zoom out, you can see why. Currently we are getting double teamed, well, triple teamed by Angmar, Arnor, and we also have Mortal who have turned on us. So yeah, so basically Angmar and Arnor have been, uh, uh, you know, allied this entire time. So, you know, Erebor and us in Loth, we were, you know, fighting them off, trying to hold them back, and it was an even-ish fight, but we were the weaker side, so they were making ground each time, and we were, you know, trying to compensate for it with tactics and strategy and stuff like that, but they just have more whales, and they have higher activity than we do, and then Mordo, who we were relying on to invade, you know, Arno from, uh, by over Rohan, so, you know, basically push through here uh, into Isengard and, you know, capture Orthanc and then basically, you know, cause an issue down south for Arnor. They ended up joining, well, they ended up leaving the our alliance, so Erebor and Loth, they left us. And as you can see, they are currently fighting Erebor, which is bad for us because, you know, with Erebor now spending half their troops or most of their troops fighting Mordor, it's like a one it's like a 2v1 on the absolute front lines against Arnor and Angmar you know it's just a lot trying to hold him back at the moment while Erebor secures our rear because we got you know attacked from there so it's not looking good for us it's basically a 3v2 at this point and we were already losing the 2v2 so this is not good but yeah let's have a look at all the weapons and see how it's going so first of all there is a weapon yeah I guess Gondor wants Rohan Probably they probably want their capital and Rowan's few players are there trying to defend it, but 1.3 million participants here in the fold with over 400,000 deaths. Let's see who has control of the crossing. Oh, Rowan still have control of their side of the crossing. Hmm, not bad. Well done, Rohan. Oh wait, never mind. Gondor owns the crossing. But Rowan still have forts there, so. Or have Gondor pushed through? No, they haven't. Okay, so Ron have been able to defend there. Pretty interesting. Over here now we have our... Oh, okay. We have a small Gondor Mordor weapon, I guess. That's most their allies, so I assume that's because probably troops reinforcements crossing and accidentally killing each other, something like that. So 220,000 participants, 84,000 deaths over there. Now over in Wizard Gardens is the big pin. 9.2 million participants, 2.7 million deaths. That's a lot of troops that we could have used on the front line against Arnor and Angmar. Unfortunately, they're having to be committed against Mordor. So it's Bra from Erebor against Woa and CCCP from Mordor with some DOEA and another small uh, Mordor alliance called Sata. So yeah, yeah. who is actually winning this actually? Uh, okay, so Erebor have control over here, but I think, yeah, I think Erebor is definitely stronger than Mordor, I believe, but I don't know if they have, you know, the reinforcements and stuff, because I assume not all their players are on the front lines, which means they may not have, you know, the required troops to win, but yeah, they're fighting Mordor over there. In the meantime, on our front, so there's a pit, uh, pin over here. 279,000 participants, 80,000 deaths, ring at the top, uh, who were fighting against Solo, mostly, with some from Small and one or two Bend and Toma players over there as well. And this was just to put a stop to them advancing. Okay, we have done pretty well. Nice, I'm very proud of my players. They came, they saw, they conquered, they followed the announcement and they got rid of the Arnold players pushing through. Okay, Arno is over here though, so they are close by. So that is something we need to be careful of. But yeah, right now we're just breaking their forts, you know, 
trying to slow them down on the front line over here because we need to hold them here as long as we can so that our players can actually have time to uh, relocate into central Malkwood because as you can see like myself I am literally stuck in northern way so I need to relocate ASAP into central Malkwood and get back to the front lines. Now over here we have some more war pins in Gundabad. This is Bend against Solo and Jewel with some ring players there as well. 332,000 participants, 95,000 deaths. We have another pin, Solo against Bend and Ring again. 250k participants, 73,000 deaths. Then we have this smaller pin in Faradwaith, which is was a massive pin because we fought for Faradwaith for quite a while, but yeah, that's died down since the general retreat that we've called. And this is 205,000 participants, 75k deaths, MWA from Angmar against Bend, Ring and F Kids. Now here is the bigger uh, of the pins up north. And this is in Gundabad, 3.4 million participants, 1 million deaths. Solo against Bend, and then Jewel and Ring and Fkit contributing as well. So right now, uh, we basically have a full tactical retreat over to Central Mirkwood, as well as our capital, obviously, in the Woodland Realm. We are not about to allow Thrandale's home to fall into Angmar or Honorian hands. Not if we can help it anyway. So whether we can help it is kind of looking a bit iffy at the moment. But yeah, that is the map. Let's go have a look at our leaderboards. So in terms of fellowship production, at number one, we have Solo from Arno with 1.7 million power. Number two is Bra from Erebor with 1.7 million power. Three is Emoir from Angmar with 1.6 million power. Four is Leg from Gondor with 1.3 million power. Five is Jewel from Arno with 1.3 million power. So both, so Arno has two fellowships in the top five. That is crazy. Six is Wawa from uh, Mordo with 1.3 million power. Seven is Bend for, uh, from Loth with a million. Eight is my fellowship Ring. We at 905K. We were a lot higher. Bend and Ring, we were a lot higher. We were top five, but, or was it top seven? I don't know, but we were much higher, but Unfortunately, you know, we're losing a lot of land, losing a lot of production. So obviously our total fellowship production is going down. Also, we lost a lot of keeps, which is dropping our faction production as well. Over at nine is Ting from Gondor with 840k. And 10 is Asga from uh, Linden with 500k. And then our third Loth Fellowship of Kit is at 11th with 432,000 power. Over at development level, we are not at the top anymore but that's just because we don't have that many developments or we don't have that much development we can do right now because we lost so many keeps and there were one or two keeps we do have already at max development but yeah at number one is honor with 78 levels two is gondo at 63 three is mortar at 54 four is Erobor with 50 five is us and loth with 49 six is angmar at 46 how is angmar below bro do angmar just not do anything Okay, 7 is Linden with 25, 8 is Rohan with 17, and 9 is Rune with 10. Over our contribution ranking, we are pushing up the leaderboard finally. So I'm at number 56 now with just under 4,000 contribution. Though once I relocate to Central Markwood, which literally is probably going to be after this video to be fair, then I will be fighting in the front line and we can get that contribution up. I think this is a ring player, yeah. Marimo, Comrade, that's good to see. It's good to see but a couple of ring players nice and high over here. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully get ourselves, I would like to say top 10 by end of the season. I don't know because top 10 is all 8K and above, which I'm half off, which means I need to do a lot more to get there. But I think we'll aim for top 25 at least and then you know see if we can push into the top 10. But yeah, oh, also, so commander-wise, right? I've been having a little bit of an issue, so. My main formation, as most of you guys probably know, is Gimli, Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn 2, and Galadriel. And as you can see, Galadriel is obviously the, well, the, the base of this formation because she is the only whaled out com over here, though not in respect level, unfortunately. We don't have a Zenith or anything. Then we have Aragorn, who's budget, and Gandalf, who's budget, and we have Gimli, who, you know, we're trying to up in terms of strength and make him also a bit of a whale. But yeah, I'm running them currently. So my three damage commanders, uh, Galadriel, Gimli, and Aragorn, are all running Guardians, and 
Gandalf the Grey runs Sentinels, though I'm about to put, um, what's it? March Wardens, yeah, sorry. The Lot T4 March Wardens on him, so he's going to do a bit better. But all these units are small units, right? And fighting Angmar especially, you're only going up against Cav. Like, these guys are just using four tier four units on their four different commanders. They have, they have got a uh, vanguards, right? What's it? I think it's vanguards, the, the infantry. And then they're also using fallen, which is the Angmar T four. And yeah, running up against a whole bunch of medium units and stuff is just not doing good because medium units have that bonus against small units. Small units are good against large, but we haven't really fought with that many large units, unfortunately. So I am thinking of switching my tank units over. So switching from guardians on my three damage commanders to something medium. So I'm thinking Shire Protectors, or I could put Shire Protectors and Cataphracts or even Cavaliers, but Cavaliers are a bit too squishy, I think. So I am thinking of switching to Shire Protectors and maybe some Cataphracts. And then for Gandalf, I'll switch him over to Bow Knights. So, you know, I get the bonus from all of them using medium units. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about units uh, for my main formation. Because right now I am running all small units, Guardians and going to be March Warden soon. But I am thinking of possibly changing to either Tower Guards, which uh, someone... Uh, recommended to well someone asked me about because they're running tower guards themselves and you know it's actually a pretty decent idea so i was thinking maybe switching over and trying tower guards instead of guardians on my three damage commanders and if not i could also do a full-on switch to medium units with bow knights uh, shire protectors and maybe some cataphracts but yeah if you guys have enjoyed the video please do drop a like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs>